everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be doing my little sister's nails as always if you don't know i'm due to the pandemic i'm only doing my mom's and my sister's nails along with my own or some press-ons or whatever so i did this set and i think it's so cute with these little holographic colorful butterflies so stay tuned to see where i got these and a discount code for them so this is her previous set her little christmas reindeer set and there is a video on it if you're interested but it's after christmas but maybe save it so you can have it for next christmas or something who knows whatever <laughs> so i am um i removed that design and everything and then i am prepping her nail plate now I used a um, red baron bit or orange crush a bit from Atwood Industries to remove her design. And now I'm using the skiver bit. The, um, yeah, it's a skiver bit. And I am removing the dead skin from her nail plate. And that is the cuticle. And I'm holding that bit parallel to the natural nail as parallel as possible. So we don't dig in and create a ring or anything. And I'm using pretty light pressure. And I'm going low speed, um, probably about 6,000 RPMs, it seems to be, on my little Melody Suzy e-file. And if you're interested in um, the e-file that I use, the link will be down below. It is the Sparkle rechargeable one and the Sparkle Pro. So now I'm using the mini skiver bit from Atwood Industries. You can see it comes to a finer point. I can really get down in those side walls and really kind of a little further back on her nail plate and just kind of get more of that dead skin that we do not want to have in our way of our enhancement that can cause unnecessary lifting. And I'm just kind of going back and forth. This also can be used on the skin, so I'm kind of removing any calluses. And then I'm kind of double back not kind of i am um double backing over that i don't even know if that makes sense with the round bit and as you can tell i'm going in the opposite direction you can use these bits in both direction um this one i don't know i generally prefer um starting with going in reverse and then if need be i put it in forward that's just a weird little quirk or process that i do i'm just going in and trying to buff away that dead skin um and i'm just going back and forth and there's um i'm going to cut the dead skin now i'm not cutting her epinichium we can argue about that all day i say that all the time i won't argue with you but y'all can talk about it i am not cutting the epinichium i'm literally cutting the dead skin that is growing on the surface of the nail or the dead skin that is hanging off of the live skin but you can see the epinichium that barrier that line around the cuticle area is still intact now we see people that cut that off different laws different practices in different countries and states happen so i am just only trimming the dead skin which is i'm able to do in my state as a nail technician <laughs> So I'm using the clear rubber base, as you see me do all the time from the gel bottle heat. And I um, brushed her nails. I dusted them off with alcohol and I probably don't show it, but I wiped them off with acetone as well to dehydrate the surface of the nail and um, just get it ready and prepped for this clear rubber base. So essentially this acts like a primer and a base all in one i get a lot of questions about that sometimes it is our primer it is what is causing the adhesion from our ibd gel that i just shown and the natural nail that's what the rubber base is there for so the brush that i'm using is not an alpha brush but i am going to refer you to the link down below to check out alpha brushes and their gel brush line i really like them it's affordable um i say all the time this is a brush i got from like michael's or hobby lobby it's a little more costly so if you want a place that's made for nail brushes for nails for nail art nail things um check out alpha brushes and their gel brushes uh if you're interested in doing gel which i recommend all the time i think gel especially for beginners is a much easier thing to get down i, I will say that and stand by it if you can get like 
a nice decent little lesson on it or just kind of what depending on how you learn everybody learns differently you can kind of some people you could just see me how I play with it here and understand how the viscosity and the fact that it's self-leveling it'll give you an idea of how to use it some people need to you know talk it through but you know I have I always have good intentions big dreams of like doing these beginners type videos and etc I want to do those things that's my 2021 resolution I'm gonna do better things for y'all <laughs> so I'm using the XOXO gel bottle color it's um not gel bottle it is gel polish <laughs> in the bottle but it is from Madam Glam and this is a sheer nude and I used it actually in her reindeer nails the previous set that she had um but I'm going to leave it more sheer I wanted it more opaque last time so I did three coats but for this set, I wanted it to be a bit more of a sheer nude, so I just did two coats. And it is a very pretty nude. And I think it looks really good on my sister's skin tone, um, but it looks good on a lot of skin tones. So at first, um, we were going to do something different on the ring finger, and at, by the end, we decided not to. Um, so I'm using these beautiful, holographic, colorful butterfly decals from daily charm and you can use code tabitha 10 when shopping and just look at how they look it almost looks like it makes them flap the wings flap just the way the light hits it they're so beautiful so off screen i tried it with the tacky layer on sticking these and it didn't work so i recommend wiping the tacky layer off um if you have one um just so these can stick right here better now i didn't show on camera. i did file and shape off camera and i apologize i'm sorry for it <laughs> so these butterflies i like now i'm using a um, i'm in a small surface my sister she has little nail beds you know she's still a kid and so i have to take as you can see different pieces of the butterfly and i really think that makes the design kind of more wholesome wholesome whole i don't know it just makes it a more whole thing not to just have one butterfly because only one can fit on the nail to have you know some kind of hanging off coming from different areas it just makes it more interesting to the eye so i'm using this five in one gel from um, daily charm again you can use code tapitha and the number 10 to get a discount and we're essentially you want to make sure you press these really good on the nail really you see me scraping with my fingernail Make sure they're really pressed, but they're very thin, so we didn't need to encapsulate them within the nail using a nice, thicker um, top coat to kind of encapsulate them, but not really works just because they are so thin and pliable. So I'm going to go over all of them and essentially, with my air quotes, encapsulate them in that strengthening gel. And off camera, you can see uh, we added the design to the ring finger. We were going to do like a holographic glitter, but the butterflies are just so cute. And I just love how they look over the nude. I have done a few sets on my sister with like a nice nude and like a little bold design. And I just really like it on her. And um, so now I'm just kind of cleaning up the edges, them little butterflies that were kind of hanging off for the partial design. I wanted to make sure that we didn't have any issues with the decal kind of poking through and then I dusted them off and you can see I am top coating with my favorite no wipe but gel top coat and then that's it that's the final bit to it <laughs> and you want to make sure that you cap over the free edge of the nail just to make sure that those decals are really sealed in and I had a little piece hanging off there that I cleaned up if you want to really make sure that they are locked in you can top coat with a no wipe top coat all over again but um these she's been wearing these for a while now in real life as i'm doing this voiceover and they still look good and again these decals are really thin they're not thick and bulky so they i really really like them and recommend they have not just butterflies they have all different designs so check out daily charm for sure there's a link down below click that link and um, when you shop that link even if you don't use my discount code i will still still receive some little commission so you know it's always appreciated so thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something enjoyed just taking your time out of this day 
and watching some art and um don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe check out my other channel with my boyfriend um we are getting ready to do new content we kind of took the time off until 2021 came and then we're back on it but anyways uh be kind to your neighbor wear a mask thanks for watching guys bye